Um, just to give back, uh, I had so many coaches growing up that poured into me. So uh, when I had the opportunity to get into coaching, I wanted to pour into others and just help them in any way I can, on or off the court, just help achieve their goals. It was an experience, that's the perfect word to use. Uh, you know, I was young, fresh out of college, um, so I thought I knew everything. Uh, but it was really good to learn and, and grow and, you know, learn the other side of being from a player's perspective just a year before that. So now going to a coach's perspective was definitely an uh, eye open. I think uh, it's a 50-50 thing. I, th I think the players who want to be pros, they, you know, you have to put the work in um, outside of practice. So I just, you know, the ones who want to be pros, you know, we get in the gym, work on their craft. Uh, that's the best way, you know, to be the best player you can be. You got to, you know, if you want to be at the highest level, you got to be the best you can be. So just getting in the gym. Uh, letting them know the mental grind of the game as well. Uh, being mentally and physically prepared equally is important. So, um, the first year, you know, we I think we were a little young and inexperienced, and the game got too big for us uh, on the road. Uh, so that that was tough. But, you know, the, the team was tough. We came back the following year. Obviously, made it back to the same game, um, and that one was a, a, definitely a better game for us. Just you know, the ball didn't bounce our way a couple times, and, and it didn't go well. But it's, it's a blessing to be able to get to those points and everybody can't say they made it to that uh, two back-to-back -back championship game. So, you know, I'm about to cross that finish line soon, but it was good to get there, get that experience. Yeah, I would say, you know, follow your dreams, follow your passion, um, be a sponge, be willing to learn, uh, do coaches clinics, always stay in your coach's office, be around coaches. Uh, the best way to, you know, do what you want to do is to be around those type of people. So I would say, you know, network, don't be afraid of no's. I heard a million no's before I heard a yes. Um, so definitely just keep running and keep pushing. Um, Steve Pogue, uh, coach at Stony Brook University right now and I've been coaching on going on year number 13.